My name is Father William F. Wager, better known today at the parish as Father Bill. And I'm the pastor of St. Mary Parish for the last nine and a half years. And as a result, I am the father to all the children in our parish school. We've heard the phrase, it takes a village to raise a child. But I would say in this context, it takes a parish. It is an entire parish effort to offer these young people a quality education with Catholic core values. And when we have parents to support that in the home, it will have an effect. The students here, what I find most important, they're happy kids. And I think that comes from primarily, even though they may not be able to articulate it, the children know that their parents have chosen this place for them to grow up and to learn. St. Mary's is a place where um, it, there's a definite community here. St. Mary's has a very welcoming atmosphere. Families get to know each other and it's just a family atmosphere where people care about each other. Being a small school, we really get to know one another and it's not just building relationships with the students, it's the relationships with the families that we built here. It's such a warm, happy place to be. You feel like you're, you're all part of one big family and coming here every day and being part of this every day, it's really it's really rewarding and, and makes you feel really good to be here. They're really well-raised kids. They come, they come from a nice you know, community. Pinckney is a really nice community, which I grew up here in Pinckney. They're just good all-around kids, smiling, giving me hugs, you know, the younger ones. Uh, and that kind of makes you feel good when, when, when that happens, coming from a you know, kindergartner or first and second grader that's happy to see you and happy to just come right in and, and get active in my class. And that certainly gives you that good feeling as a teacher to have that happen. These are our children and we want to do for them because we care about them and we care about who they're going to become in the future. The most critical years are two-year-olds through 12-year-olds. At that point in time, your core values are established. What's unique about St. Mary as a Catholic school is that we offer excellent education, but infused with faith values, not just in religious ed class, but they're infused with primary Christian values. So I think faith is a huge component of our school here at St. Mary, and teachers build faith into every subject that they do. If you are a faithful person, religion is the core of who you are being able to bring that into the classroom every single day, whether it's teaching them about their faith or teaching them just how to live their faith. I mean, that is, is huge. We teach the students good morals. We teach the students how to take care of one another and how to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. Having taught several years in um, public school situations where we were not allowed to integrate religion into the curriculum, it is just wonderful to be able to talk about God, to share with children um, the wonders of God's world. Being able to teach religion not only as a class, but also integrated into other subjects gives students a faith-based perspective, which helps them as members of a community bring that faith out into the world. Faith is so important to teaching children how to live and how to grow and how to ultimately get to heaven and that's our goal here and to be able to do that every day as those situations arise uh, I find just really exciting. I also think it's important to note that we have young people who aren't necessarily Catholic who come to our school. That's important because we do not 
put a displacement on them like, well, you're not Catholic, so you don't fit in. Quite the opposite. We welcome you, we love you, and these are our values, and we share as much as we can with each other in a free and loving manner without putting a burden that you have to become Catholic on them. So our curriculum that is set for us is not only do we have to come up to the standards of Michigan, we also have the curriculum guidelines that we follow for the Diocese of Lansing. So it's a little bit more challenging than other traditional schools in the area. I always call it kindergarten and first grade of practice years. And in second grade, this is where you're practicing to do everything you're going to do from now on. I mean, it's, it's, again, it's about how precise your work is and looking for your work ethic and not, you know, just did you put an A on the paper, but how well did you put the A on the paper? And we ask them to give the best of themselves instead of what do you want to give me right now? I mean, we start looking for more things like that that really sets them up for knowing when they do their work, it's not just getting it done, but doing it well. I experienced as a student at St. Mary's and now as a teacher that we have very high expectations for our students. Not only do we have high expectations, we teach them how they can reach those expectations. It always amazes me, even though it shouldn't, that the kids rise above what our expectations are of them. When we say we provide a foundation for them so that they can go to high school and take courses, we mean it. They are ready. They have the foundation. I think there's a great advantage to having a small student to teacher ratio. Teaching is uh, not static, it's fluid and the fewer students you have, the more um, time and energy you have to figure out exactly which student needs what and how to give them that. It's much easier to differentiate towards not only helping the students that struggle and need extra help, but also uh, differentiating so that those gifted learners can be pushed a little bit farther. The thing that I really enjoy the most is when I see them loving learning. To me, the classroom should be a joy-filled atmosphere and they should love what we're doing. And when we accomplish that together as a community, then I know that we've done something special that they're always going to remember. We have six special enrichment classes at St. Mary's. Students are able to attend library, music, Spanish, art, physical education, and computers. The main focus I think here at St. Mary is making sure that we are moving forward with technology so that the students are prepared for high school. St. Mary recently has invested in technology. They want there to be more integrated into the classroom. So we have a um, whole set of dedicated laptops on top of our computer lab that the teachers have access to. So students have opportunities on a daily basis to have one-on-one -on -one using the laptops for new and creative ideas in their learning experiences. Using technology in the classroom is certainly something that engages the children and it's a great way to start a lesson or end a lesson and really kind of solidify certain thoughts, especially for those visual learners. Every classroom has a Mimeo board, which includes an, a projector and an interactive board where teachers come up and can manipulate anything on their board and encourage students to come up and do it too. Technology is a key component to all education nowadays because of the world we live in. It's not going to go away. Children that are coming in the door now, I really believe their brains are wired differently than what they were 10 years ago because of their exposure to technology on a regular basis. So we have to meet those needs. We have to let our instruction evolve, so to speak, so that we can engage them in the learning process. We also have a zero hour where the students are able to come in from fifth grade to eighth grade and have band. And that doesn't always happen at an elementary school. So that's something that um, is very positive for our school. My goal for the band program is to foster a love for music. And uh, I try to have them play lots of different kinds of music so that they can experience all kinds. It's really exciting when I see my students light up, especially at our performances like the Christmas concerts and the spring concert. They get to perform for their parents and the school. And I hope that will encourage them to continue music after they leave St. Mary's once they start high school. We also teach our students as they grow older to nurture the younger students. 
In first grade, we have seventh grade buddies. In kindergarten, they have eighth grade buddies that attend mass with them on a weekly basis. And both eighth grade and seventh grade go to visit their buddies once a week to read with them. We also have our second graders who go down to the preschool room on a regular basis to read to them and just know that there are other people in the building that are caring for them and helping them to um, learn all of the things about school that they need to know. And it's not only good for the younger ones who feel like, boy, I have like a big brother or a big sister or a big friend who's helping me out. It's also an opportunity for those middle school or junior high level students to take on responsibility of being a caregiver, of teaching a younger person. And I think eventually in life, that will help them become better parents themselves. You know, I teach physical education, so um, you know, my belief is that students need to learn skills of how to be active. Those are all really important things, but an also really important thing in terms of being a physical education teacher is being a life coach and learning how to get along and be active with other people. We have a, a really big event here at St. Mary's uh, Field Day, and basically here at this school, it's an all-day event. We'll have 12 stations set up outside doing different skills, and the students really love it. The teachers get into it. It's kind of a competitive thing here at the school, and um, they're basically just trying to push themselves and challenge themselves to, to complete certain activities or stations in a, in a better way than the next group. No matter what's going on, it does kind of bring the students together. They're in different groups from different grades. They might be with different students that they might not regularly see. You know, being with those different people in an active setting that's positive for them, that's fun to see and they, they do get something special out of that. There, there is something that's more than just the activity part. There's, there's something greater that they're getting from that. I think the extracurriculars at St. Mary's are amazing. Given the size of the school, um, first and foremost, St. Mary's, because it's a Catholic school, can actually start sporting and extracurricular things two years in advance of any other school here in the area. Um, they're allowed to start playing sports in fifth and sixth grade. So by the time the public schools actually introduce competitive sports to the children, our St. Mary girls and boys already have two years of practice in ahead of them. And there's lots of choices. We have boys basketball, girls basketball, cross country, girls on the run program, and then we also have girls volleyball. I love the athletic department. I love seeing how the coaches interact with the kids. One thing is with St. Mary basketball is I think we've been lucky because we have very good players that have gone through the school and I had the opportunity to coach most of them and the teams we had were usually very successful. One of the greatest things about being a basketball coach at St. Mary's is it gives me a venue to do what I think, I, how I can share my gift the best. And, and my gift is a gift of passion, it's a gift of faith, and it's a, it's a gift of wanting to help young people grow as leaders and to teach them virtue. The kids are awesome. They, they make you want to come to practice. They're, they're fun, they're exciting. They'll, they'll surprise you sometimes. Just the whole basketball environment, the kids, the coaches, the fans, it's awesome. Our girls basketball team has been outstanding. They won their league, I think, the last couple years, and this year they went undefeated, winning every game during the season and in the tournament. I've coached girls volleyball for six years now uh, here at St. Mary's, and I learned more about the game from watching them learn than I ever learned when I actually played it. You know, hard work and dedication pay off because we've never finished less than second place in a single season here at St. Mary's in volleyball. And seeing how every child gets to play, and it doesn't matter if we are a whole bunch ahead or behind, all the children get to play. And to watch that one student who may not have the same athletic ability as another student, go in and those kids constantly giving that person the ball continually so that they have the opportunity to sit and make a basket and feel that success that the other kids are having. That is just the awesome thing to watch and it just makes me so proud of our kids and of our coaches that I'm a part of a school. 
So at St. Mary, part of our faith experience in sports is always to begin and end with prayer. So at the beginning of every practice, we all get around our circle in the center of the gym, and one of the boys will always start the practice by getting a chance to lead the team in prayer. We start every single game, every single time, with a prayer, and not just the kids, but you get the audience involved too, or the, you know, the crowd is involved. So the whole room is filled with prayer, or even for that brief moment, you just don't see that anyplace else than in a Catholic school environment. They learn how to pray with others. They are not afraid to publicly pray and acknowledge God. And that's one of the coolest things of, of being at uh, a St. Mary, and where, we, where our Catholic faith can be expressed openly and shared with others. It's a beautiful thing. Having only one class per grade level, the students really get to know one another, really get to build relationships with one another, because some of them will be in school for upwards of eight, nine years if they had started here in preschool. It's almost like a little family right in school. They care about each other, they take care of each other, and look forward to seeing each other each day. Our kids really do bond well together. They become lifelong friends with each other and they just continue that relationship after they leave St. Mary's School. You will love St. Mary because it provides an opportunity for your children to achieve academic success and develop a love for lifelong learning. Your children will not only excel academically, but also spiritually and grow in their faith. They are the foundation of our society, and I want them to go forth and be the best that they can be, not only obviously academically and, and what they know and their knowledge, but just to make them better people, make them more aware and more courteous and more virtuous. Whether it's a special class or core academic class, that smaller class size, getting that extra time with teachers, being able to have your student get that little bit of extra time does help out a lot. I think if parents come and visit and see what we have to offer here, they'll be impressed with the quality of education, the kind of uh, caring environment that St. Mary provides. It's just like one big family and your child will feel that. Setting the bar high, they always seem to get there. They'll go beyond their age, they'll go beyond their maturity. They will take on tasks that will surprise you and achieve levels that you wouldn't think capable uh, of a person that age. So it's awesome to trust, motivate, and watch them achieve beyond their age in their level, really. If I bumped into you on the street and you asked me why should I send them, I'd say, send them because you love them. Send them because you want them to get more out of school than just showing up every day and hanging out with their friends and maybe thinking about passing. Send them because you want to give them the tools to get through high school, to get through college, to succeed in the world, and also have God be a part of that. You're going to love St. Mary because simply it's just a great place to send your child. You're looking for teachers who really truly care about their kids and want them to succeed and get to really know their students. This is the place for you to be. Why will you love St. Mary? because you are going to find family and friends. It's not just about sending your child to the school. You are a part of the whole process. And in doing so, you'll find other parents, you'll find other children whom you will love and you will nourish, and they will be a part of your life, both now and in the future. Witness the difference at St. Mary Catholic School.